Blessings and honor, glory and power be unto my King. Good morning. It's good to be with you today, trusting that you are doing well and that these devotions morning after morning, that they are encouraging your heart. Thank you so much for being with us, listening to the devotions and sharing them with family members and a friend. Sevilla D. Martin, in the song that's taken from Hebrews 13, 5, he had said, I'll never leave thee now forsake thee. The title of the song, God will take care of you. In the first stanza, it is said, be not dismayed, whatever be tied, God will take care of you. Beneath his wings of love abide, God will take care of you. God will take care of you through every day, over all the way. He will take care of you. God will take care of you. God will take care of you. God will take care of me. God will take care of all of us. What a great God we serve. What a Father we have that will take care of us, that is taking care of us every day. Nehemiah hmm, shares some important information with us that we need to pay attention to. We come to Nehemiah chapter 4 and verse 10. The Bible said, And Judah said, The strength of the bearers of burden is decayed, and there is much rubbish, so that we are not able to build a wall. Wow, these folks have been building the wall. Sambalat, Tobiah, Goshim, and they, the Arabians, and they also those around are now intimidating them. Some of them have become intimidated. And notice what they said. The strength of the bearers of the burden is decayed. We are not able to no more and there's much rubbish so we are unable to build a wall let's stop we're not able we are tired there's too much rubbish around let us stop so watch this be careful not to be discouraged as i look at this i notice that the battle moved from outside now to inside. It moved from outside the city to inside because Judah is saying those who are called upon to do the work, they're saying we cannot do this work. With that in mind, I must think of Joshua chapter 1 and I want to read for you from verse 1 to verse 9. Stay with me. Now, after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all this people unto the land, which I do give to thee, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, even unto the river, the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and unto the great sea towards the going down of the sun, shall be your course. He said, there shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee, and I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Be strong and of good courage. For unto this people shall thou divide for inheritance the land, which I swear unto thy fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law, which Moses, my servant, commanded thee, turn not from it to the right hand, not from the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. 
This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then shalt thou have good success. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Wow. This, I believe, what is called Satan's main weapon against the children of Israel. He used it in Acts chapter 5, and he used it in Acts chapter 6. He used Ananias and Sapphira, got inside. Satan does not feel good until he can get inside. He used the complaining widows inside of the church when the church first started. He used Judas inside the rank of the disciples. Hmm. So the battle, when Satan can't handle you from the outside, he moved on the inside. Notice what happened. They became discouraged because they were tired. Nothing would wear you out more than hearing the complaints of others about the work. Here you are, trying to do your best in the work, but you're hearing the complaints of others. They were discouraged because of the rubbish. In other words, there was debris to be moved. And those who were building the walls got discouraged because much of it was still there. They were discouraged because of the pressure from it out that found itself inside. Discourage every last one of them from doing the work of God. It was discouragement that kept Israel from entering the promised land through Kedish Barnea. For in Numbers chapter 13, reading from verse number 30 and verse number 31, and Caleb still the people before Moses and said, let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. But the men that went up with him said, we be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we are. Mm. He looked at the size of the people, got discouraged, and forgot the promise of God. Because of the unbelieving spies who discouraged the heart of the children of Israel, as a result, they wandered in the wilderness for 40 years until God wiped them out and raised up a new generation. That's what discouragement can do for us. Here's what we need to do. Know what the Bible says and follow what the Word of God says. Be encouraged. Don't allow what's happening around you to discourage you. It's one thing for discouragement to be on the outside, but when it comes on the inside, it affects all that are on the inside. Wow. Read Numbers 32, verse number 6 to verse number 13, and let's see what the scripture says there. My time is up for this morning. Loving Father, encourage your people that are discouraged. Those who haven't gone back to services, those pastors who have not opened the doors for services, encourage them, dear God. Let something be said by some of us to encourage one another. Have your way with us. We love you, praise you, and thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.